If you were still a little kid, you could grab your ankles. I don't think I ever could. <laughs> I think I still can. I'm not flexible. Number 10. Number 11, go. Number 13, go. Number 12. Why are you so late, bro? 
Yeah. Okay, go. Uh, everybody get a partner. Same thing, basically. Right, you guys should go partner again. I can't. I don't, don't want to touch um, Yeah. Uh, let me have the, the camera so mm -hmm. to be your partner. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're basically doing the wheelbarrow again. So everybody get in the wheelbarrow position, one person. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Pick them up. You're gonna do the it's called a camel, where you're gonna fix your butt up straight up in the air, make a big camel hump. <laughs> that, that's it, that's it. All the way up. And then walk forward. Without falling on your face. Yep. Hey, he he's really good at it. <laughs> okay. And another one is you get, get three partners. Get one more partner. Y'all split up the three groups. Back to your same three groups you had. Yeah. Oh. And y'all gonna do a double wheel barrel. So you one person in the room and one person get on top of the other person. A double no, wheelbarrow. So one person is going to lay down and hold the other person's foot. And the next person is going to get in front of the person that's laying down and get put their legs on top of his back. And we'll do a double wheelbarrow. Uh, Okay, you get a wheelbarrow, and then that one person, do a wheelbarrow, he feels stupid, do a wheelbarrow. Now you go around in front, put your legs on his, uh, get, get in a push-up position. Put your feet, by the way. There we go. Now put your feet. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? Get almost here, almost here. There we go. Now get up, and now you got to walk. Now we can all race like that, huh? <laughs> Number 15! Double barrel! You gotta have a spotter. Spotters. Uh, uh, you're just go sit down. You're out of it. You're not functioning today. Yes. Elevated to help. Okay, so pick a person. Person on the right. Person on the right is going to do a bear. The bear is going to do a muscle. And he's going to do a double bear. And the other person who's standing up has to get on top of them. You want your hands on their shoulders and your knees on the back of their hips to balance yourself as a bear just like a day off. Yeah. You just gotta keep your body tight. Keep your body. Tight. Yeah, I don't. I don't want you doing it because of your hand. It's just because if you lose your balance, you have nothing to catch on. All right. She's doing it. You look great. Like great. Just kind of spread. You try to put your knees on the meaty part, not on their spinal cord. Right. Doesn't feel too. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think that's too much. <laughs> you know, some people are meant to be bases. Some people are meant to be flyers, right? That's just okay. As we get into the more advanced stuff, you need to have groups of three so you have a spotter, someone to help the person on and off as they're learning. Okay, who's up next? Yes. Sixteen. We're on sixteen. He was fifteen. Yeah. So that's you. All right. Okay. Everybody, grab a partner. Okay. This is called a team. The first thing we're gonna do is get in the crab position, like this. Okay. 
All right, now somebody's going to get in the exact same position oh. as I am on top of you. Oh. 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 Now make sure, make sure, no. like, make sure you have basis and evenly matched top. Step across in a straddle position, guys. Step, ac step across him. Step across him. S straddle him. The top person should be on the knees. So put your hands down first on his shoulders. Okay, and now put your feet up on his knees. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you, you straddle them first, you put the hands the second, then the leg. Yeah, I just. Yeah, if you had a, if you had a spotter, you could do it, but I'm just. I just can't put on my weight all over again. Yeah, and if, if you fell, you'd have to start all over again. Okay, right? okay number 17. Um, staying in partners and the one person who gets in the crowd position again, except the other partner is going to face them and stand on their knees. On hands their first, hand for, hands first, right, right. There we go. Now we can do it. Perfect. Yeah, always use your hands to help you out. Now look, if you'll give me your good hand, let me switch you. I can spot you so you won't need the other hand. Okay, get up on his knees. Yeah. There we go. Okay, tighten up your butt. Good job. Squeeze that butt and focus on something on the wall. And you've got it. That's beautiful. All right, I'm down. Ready to be a cheerleader. Sorry. <laughs> It's harder than it looks. Is that right? Oh, like this? Yeah. All right, come on. You're all right. You got this. Put your hands on his shoulders. Come on. Good job. Okay. Hey, guys, want to make sure you don't put your leg in the middle of their thigh. You put your heel right on top of their kneecap so that everything has got a good base. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number 18, is that Donna? Uh, you do what? No, you had a specific one assigned to you, didn't you? Oh, yes, yeah, stay in your groups, you're right. He's supposed to know what it is. What's it? It's like house, huh? Yeah. And then we start all over again, right? And where should the spotter be? Okay. Yeah, you need somebody to help. Spotter. All right. <laughs> now the spotter's standing there with his yeah. arms closed. It's probably not the best yeah. idea in the world. Once you, once you, uh, you got you, got you feel yeah. comfortable, yeah. Uh, the person that's on their knees, they got to try to watch. Okay, teacher, you you are responsible for all the kids in class. You can let them do that. No, no way. I never let them do that. Right answer. <laughs> Number one. All right. Everybody just stay in the same groups. It's kind of the same thing. One person get down on your hands and knees. But instead of standing just on their back, you put one foot on the shoulder and on the hip. Okay? Stand up on one shoulder, or one foot on the shoulder, one foot on the hips. Okay? Can you get one person to demonstrate while you spot them? You show, demonstrate how to spot? Just stay behind them. Make sure they don't fall. Start yeah, and sometimes you can hold their hand to help them get up, you know? Okay, everybody ready? Try Little kids are actually good at this stuff, and they're very low to the ground. So. Why don't you two, once you, you, you two guys go together? She's kind of out of commission right now, anyway. Yeah, because he's getting left out here. Okay, number two. Number two. Number two is absent. Number three? Okay. Can you teach? Okay. Let's see you hobble out on the mat. And
You're going to have to walk on the mat. It's just, you can't. Yeah, come across. We're not going to, he's not going to let you do anything dangerous. Obviously, we've got it on the mat. What's this call? Okay. <laughs> oh well, he just no you. you uh, is it a hand, a headstand or a handstand? Handstand. Okay. You remember how we did our little um, switcheroos the other day? Okay. Oh yeah. Well. Okay, and now help him down. Help him down. Okay. Look at your, the floor the whole time. I don't want you to curl your head. We're not doing. You don't teach. You teach like a basket handstand for you because if they take their head off, they want to roll. You know. Look at the floor. Look. At, okay, we have a problem right here. You see how his shoulders are not straight. Okay. Yeah, let him down. Uh, watch. Hold. Hold this. When kids are trying to do handstands, if they cut their head out of here and their hands down here, they're not going to get up into a handstand. You need to teach them from a lunge position, ears and biceps together, then they put their hands down. If their ears and their biceps together, they won't fall. But if their hands are back here, they can fall. Does that make sense? So that's why you practice those switcheroos that she showed us the other day. So you know that they can block well, they can lunge and block well before we go to this part. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, just practice your switcheroos where you just pop up and switch your legs and don't go all the way, don't do a handstand, okay? Let's say the other partners do it, or at least do the switcheroos. Have, have we forgotten what the switcheroo is? Yes. Yes, could you, yeah, that's the switcheroo. Remember? Yeah, just, just do it out here. Show me, show me you can do that. Because if you can't do that, you can't do a handstand. Can you keep your eyes on the floor? Can you keep your... You, I want biceps and ears together. Biceps and ears together. Wide hands got your right. Sure do. Most football players can't open their shoulders more. Okay, say, say that out loud. Oh. Um, a lot of guys are going to have a hard time opening their shoulder, like like everybody's from my armpit, open it. Y'all are going to do like this because football players have a hard time extending, or not just football players, but typically football players. Try to extend all the way back like you're reaching yeah. behind you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to but, do when but, you And you can widen it out a little bit, you know. That, but if it's if it's here, that's not a straight line, is it? I'm going to fall on my face. Here, I'm not going to fall on my face. Pretend I'm upside down. Right? You see where my elbows and my... And I can look at the floor. I'm upside down. Hands on the floor. But if my hands are here, I'm going to feel like I'm falling on my nose because I probably will. Right? Piece of cake. What number are we on? Three. three. Okay, three. Take it away. Let's go back to the mat. For me, but we're going to do a cartwheel. Your stance is going to be your strong foot in front, the other in the back. Put your hands up, and you're going to go down with your strong foot. Put this hand first, whichever one's your strong foot, and then the other one, and you have to kick your legs over. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> Just like that. All right, you have to go for it. Okay, say the cues again. If you, what's the cues? Strong foot in first. The hand that's whatever your strong foot is is going to go down first, and then you're going to kick your leg, put this one down, and then kick the other one. Up. Okay, could you show me how to do a baby cartwheel where you don't do the? This is the lead up to it. There, okay, you can do that, and then as you get better, you just kick your feet up a little higher each time until you feel more comfortable. Okay, go. Okay, do the baby cartwheel, or the whichever one you want. Go. <laughs> Look at that! Woo! Basketball can steal cartwheel. 
I'm impressed. I really am. Come on, you got to try. You can be ugly. It can be like a beginner cartwheel. Please don't tell them it's a baby cartwheel. They'll never do it. Excellent. Actually, that's pretty good. You haven't done that in years, huh? No. Okay, you did good. Let's do them again. Come on, let's see you do them. This is a, you have to pass a cartwheel in here. You have to be able to do a forward roll in a cartwheel. That's it, you just need a little more speed. Yeah. Get, uh, you're, you're doing it though, just go faster. Okay, go again, we're not moving on until you get it. No, he, he, he's gotten it, he's just going slow. Go fast. Beautifully done, looking nice. I, I think everybody's passed their cartwheel test. Number four. Next with the judo roll. Okay. And um, where's Bo? Um, somebody come hold the camera for me. I need everybody, everybody to face forward, so I want a line back there, line in the middle, line up front. Everybody forward. Okay. Basically, if you can get me, the people that are absent, this is what's going on. Okay. We want to show the judo roll the control roll because if the kid lands on their lands on their shoulder, they don't kill themselves, they land on their heads in a different story. So a judo roll looks like this. So rolling from my right finger to my left hip. Here's the wheel. Roll from my arms to my hip. Doesn't go across the spinal cord. You can learn to do that in a matter of minutes. We're going to start with the baby beginning progression. And we'll say, hi mom. I'm going to take my right dominant hand and reach back to my left, butt up, head down, then roll over. Okay? That's a right lefty with the head. Hi, Mom. Reach back to my head foot, lay the arm completely on the ground, lock toes, push over. Piece of cake. Everybody point that way, we'll all do it together. Live toes. Meaning like in a starting block, you know? Live toes. Dominant hand up. Reach back and grab your non-dominant, lay your shoulder all the way to the ground, push. Very good. Let's do it again. Up, everybody roll forward, point me, so we don't roll into each other. And roll. This is also with the Japanese 
they call him Kajudo. <coughs> because he come from Japan, he came out of Jujutsu or Judo. So we go from here, and we got to get comfortable. So if you don't feel comfortable with this, let's stick with it. If you do feel comfortable, let's make a wheel. Watch my wheel. I'm going to roll my wheel. I have to make sure my wheel doesn't pass. If that works, that's the wheel. The mat, right? Is that good? So hands out, elbow forward, left hand forward, or right hand forward, and roll, try to roll that wheel. Just like that. Roll. Not a jujits. Gymnastics, soccer, judo. Come on, Logan, I'm done. I got you. Like we'll push that mat forward because they've got a crack there. Okay. 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 And, first the, time you're gonna probably just land on your back, get your feet on the floor first. Y'all can try one. The one mat's one. not if you fall on your butt, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just try to get your feet to touch first before anything else touches. Catch with your feet. Good. Good. He landed in the bridge. Just laid on the table. See that was a beautiful forward roll. Try to catch with your feet. <laughs> K, 
Catch with your feet. Perfect. She's good. She's good. Wow. She didn't walk over. That's amazing. It was beautiful. Oh, he did it. He did a handspring. Wow. You're amazing. Catching your good. <laughs> nice roll. You gotta plant your head and just catch with your feet. The mat will catch. You gotta actually put your feet. It is all about the speed. He just oh, did it. He did it. He just fell backwards on the finish. Does anybody feel like they're dead or hurting? Very good. Uh, little kids, the heaviest thing on them is their head. They have an easy time doing this. At the basketball halftime thing, did you see, if you've been going to basketball, they had Jeremy's dance team, a gymnastics team out there, and they were doing head springs all across, the, all across their mat. Little kids have an easier time, but even tall people can do it. Good. No, he's doing it right. He's just slow. That's this, he's not in the speed yet. He's not actually putting his head down. Um, I would say, I don't require you to do this for your skill, but about 75, 80% of my PE majors can do this in about two days of practice. And when we did gymnastic routines instead of Janine they would put it in their routines. It's pretty cool that they, they can do that. It's not hard. You get my age, it's hard because you don't have the back flexibility anymore. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now to give yourself a little more power, you're going to, depending on how tall or short you are, you're going to step onto the mat. You might want to. Okay. Yeah, he, she's going to fly off. You're going to step onto the mat, put your head, and push. And you're going to have to push with the arm as fast as you can. Especially the guys. You have to push because you don't have the flexibility. But watch her again. Watch her. Let her do it again. Watch. It's the speed that does that. I bet you can do it. Okay. Worst case scenario, you fall on your butt. It's, you know, we, you, you can't hurt yourself. Still putting your heads on the ground. He just did a front hand spring. That's way above head springs. Both of them did. You put your head down, push with your Nice forward roll. Look, but he was awesome the first time. He just, remember? You, it's part of it's luck, too, huh? Part of it's definitely luck. I got to run up that You just got to, it can't stop in the middle. That was a handstand, though. Y'all are making it harder than it's supposed to be because you're just trying to stand in a handstand. You put your head on the ground. Remember our little tripod? Let's all go back to our tripod. Pull them out and teach them how to do a tripod. We need to regress. The other little stuff we're doing is not as important as this. Right? Just, just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. You like your, like when you like you push at the same time. It, and it's okay to keep your legs back so you're gonna, your feet will fall backwards. Don't try to push them forward, right? Okay. Just try to put. Oh, good. That's it. That's good. Good job. Good job. That's it. You're awesome. It's awful to be a beginner, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Okay, who's next? Who's next? Oh, this? Yeah. I think six, huh? Oh, six is me. Six. Let's go with six. Okay. Everybody get a partner. We go back to the little stuff now. And you do not have to walk up to vertical, folks. It's whatever you're comfortable with, okay? It's nice. To, you're, you're working on shoulder strength, and they're just playing games and having fun and not worrying about it. If you have a trailer, it's really nice. You can get in the hall and <laughs> do it in the hall, bounce back and forth. They got narrow walls. You know, narrow. That's it. Lock those elbows, or you, yourself. Make sure your partner is spotting you. What? We didn't tell them how to spot them, though, did we? That would probably be important, huh? How do you spot somebody that's doing this? What's important? That's right. And don't let them kick you in the face. Very good. Number seven. Y'all are good. That's good over there. That's okay. We're kind of running out of time. To... Number seven. Who's seven? Eight. Is it everybody. hands or wrist? I think it might be wrist. Yes, wrist. Just like this, everybody do that. And you're going to try and move backwards. You have to rock, rock back and forth. So you have to try and move this way okay. with him. So pick him up and scoot. You move your body. So you got to lift your, you got to lift your, your butt. Hey. <laughs> not, not, not so high, just not a little. So high, just a little. <laughs> You gotta get it rocking, and as they rock up, they scoop foot backwards. They rock up, scoop back. That's it. Get it. That's it. Rock. rock. You gotta get your timing down. Yeah, like that, but not so much. No, you just get your butt off the ground this much. What? What's? What's the name of it? Is it teeter totter? What's the? Yeah, double seesaw. You start seesawing, and then you start traveling. But he, he scoots back, you scoot forward. He scoots back, you, as you raise him up, he, he doesn't put his butt down in the same spot every time. So he you pull him up, okay, pull him up, and he straightens out a little bit, and he puts his butt back a little bit farther toward the, and then you slide forward after. That's it. Now, now get it to travel forward. He's got to put his butt farther this way when he comes down. You've got to scoot in as he comes down. Right? What? Put your feet under his booty. Put my feet in his booty. Under, under his booty. <laughs> give, him a, give him a seat. You know, he sits on you, you sit on him, his feet. As you lift, as you pull him up, he's going to scoot back. You're going to scoot back. You're going to Keep go feet under, him. under him. And he's going to pull you up. And then you're going to scoot closer to him. Okay. All in this tick-tock, tick-tock motion. All right. Okay? Yeah. Go. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Tick. Okay. Keep. Right. Yeah, try not to go so high. And also, he needs to keep, you need to keep your feet under him. Okay. Okay? Let's try. Let's all look silly together. Come on. Well, you're beginners, so you're supposed to look silly, right? You don't know what you're doing. Go. Live up and down, up and down, like a seesaw. Well, how, they started with a rock and then they... Yes, started. yes. Pull. Uh, Your butt's got to come off the ground, folks. <laughs> Nobody said it was easy. That's it. You had it going twice. That's it. My third graders look better than you guys. <laughs> they catch it pretty quick. But they're also lighter.
Next. Nine. Four. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was eight because I think we skipped seven, didn't we? I know that was rocky part. Yes. to come apart though. Yeah, okay, let's all try. Let's all try. All right, sit on the wall first. Yes. Okay. Also, people do it in a circle as well. You know, and try to ro rotate. Come on, four people. Let's see who can get it. Yeah. Put the little person in the front. The big person in the back. Last one to get it's a rotten egg. Right. Your cripple goes in the first front. She can't hang on to anybody, so she needs to be in the front. Right? Hands on the hips. Squat. And then the person in the back yells out, right, left, right, left. We have issues with touching people, I see. That's it. They got it. They got it. Woo! Queen B. Next. is not up like this, they're all laying down. You're laying down? Yes. Okay, Lay down, let me a log, put your hands underneath you. All of you that played football did this exercise. Right? Have you have y'all done this? Trip? Okay. Who played football? Okay, why don't you get in the middle and let and you'll you three demonstrate. He he So when you're on the end, you're gonna wanna you're gonna be looking for the person in the middle to be rolling over you, so you can be jumping over them. Okay? Like this. Now keep, and he keeps rolling. Keep rolling, Logan, this way. Keep rolling the same direction you jumped. Keep rolling the same direction you jumped. <laughs> and stop. And that's how it's done. You roll in the same direction you jump. So you need a captain. There you go. Right? Go. Ready? Try Don't squish a little bit. <laughs> I am going to be in my office at 1130. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. They're challenged today, aren't they? They're just, they're very challenged. What's next? Is it anything fun? Are we on 12? Yeah, Mary go round. Yeah. Mary go round, number 11. Go. Last thing we'll do today. Go. All right, I need two, two groups to say. So get two groups to say. We got three over here. Same over here, three people form a circle in the middle. Hold hands, join hands so I know it's a circle. Three of you. 
All right, and then the remaining three people form another circle around them. Nice. Three. Yes. Go ahead. All right, the people on the inside are going to lean into the into the conjoined hands. So everybody, if you're on the inside, lean back into into a pair of hands. Yeah. All right. So the people on the outside, we're gonna go counterclockwise. So you're gonna step. Make sure you don't go too fast because you don't want anybody to fall, get injured. So you're gonna go in a counterclockwise uh, direction, and you're gonna be moving. The people on the inside, you're gonna have to move a little bit slower just to keep the balance and the momentum going. So y'all try that. Y'all might want to start by counting down first, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay. You you lay you put your feet in the middle and you just kind of let right. your feet. And if you're in the middle, down. you always lean back. I like that you're leaning on it. That's it. I don't like how they're doing this. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. Slow down, slow down, somebody's gonna fall. Whoa, you gotta control your class. They were going crazy over here.